Good evening, Naptowners. Richard Breed here, hot on the trail of David Glazer, who's come up here to the Catoctin Mountains here in the wilds of Western Maryland to grapple with the writer's block he's run into. Now, Dave joined Crabtown USA about a year ago and has done so many projects that we've decided to present an all Dave Glazer special tonight. My job is to come up here and interview Dave, find out the true story behind those projects, and find out what really drives a man to become so talented. While I try to pick up on his discreet trail, why don't you take a look at one of the first shots we had Dave in, in which he performed a song he wrote in Annapolis called Carry Me Away. Dave? Dave? Folks, looks like we found David Glazer's habitat. Let's say, let's see if we can go get a few words out of him. Hey, Dave, Richard Breed here from Crabtown USA. Can we get a few words from you? Buzz off! Oh, come on, Dave. There's 20,000 viewers out there that want the inside scoop on all these projects. You better get away from me, you girl. Oh, come on, Dave. Let's go back to the first piece you and I worked on. Remember the Cambridge piece? Those lightning quick edits? I'm trying to forget. Uh, pfft. Y'all go to Cambridge while I work on Dave, okay? Come on, Dave.
folks. Looks like I finally caught up to Dave Glazer. He's up here on top of a mountaintop playing his Paul Reed Smith custom guitar. Let me see if I can t get him to tell you a little bit about last time he jammed with Paul Reed Smith himself. Hey Dave, uh, can you tell our viewers a little bit about the last time you played with Paul Reed Smith? Dave? <laughs> well folks, the last time we caught Dave playing with the Paul Reed Smith Band of a Thousand Names, it was a little different than the usual. Greg Phillips from Starpoint was the drummer, Kerry Ziegler from Edgar Winter's White Trash Band was the bass player, and Dave played keyboards for the band in the back by the bar. So uh, why don't you watch that while I see if I can get Dave to talk to us a little bit later. Now that was a pretty hot piece, wasn't it? While you were watching that, Dave agreed to answer a few questions. And the first one we're going to ask him is about a piece he himself edited. Pat and I went out to Garfield's to tape his band Telluride, and he took the footage back to the studio and put his own music segment together. Now Dave, looks like he slipped away again, folks. But uh, while I'm picking up on his elusive trail, why don't you watch this next piece, which he edited himself. I'm sitting down by the highway, down by that highway side. Everybody's going somewhere, riding just as fast as they can ride. Let me slide Cause I've been up and down this highway 
Folks, I fought him to his outpost here, and I'm sure he's inside, and I'm pretty sure he's going to want to talk to us about this next segment. Um, hey, Dave, uh, why don't you come out and tell us about the uh, concert video you did with Pat in the studio? You know, Living Color, the one we're going to send to MTV's basement tapes? God almighty. Set up the lights that night. You should have heard what happened. We are coming up to the front of the stage, and this waitress comes by with a tray full of soup. And I tell you, folks. Hey, no, 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 let me out of here. I ain't gonna fool around with this stuff no more. Get me out of here. I tried to make you see a 
I tell you, this writer's block of days, it's, uh, it's really taking him away from us, you know? We couldn't get any information out of him on all his projects. I guess when a man's that talented, you know, a writer's block really throws him off and has to come to the mountains, turn to sort of like a mountain man, I don't know. Boy, I tell you, I wish, you know, he'd been around it. Hey, Hi, Richard. Hey, Dave. How you doing, guy? Finally got rid of my writer's block. Got a brand new really? song. You're gonna love it. Richard, I gotta tell That's you, man. That's great. Um, um, Dave? I'm really sorry. I shot the bottle rockets at you, and I'm really sorry I threw the Jack yeah, Daniels bottle at you. That's all right, buddy. And if you want, I'll give you an interview. Well, Dave, um, I tell you, buddy, I wish you, wish you could have given it to me earlier. We don't have any time now. You know? What? No, we don't have any time. We're out of time. It's like, You're you kidding know, me. Check it out. I just walked 20 miles to get here to give you this interview. Hey, Dave, and I can't. you don't have any time left? Dave, I can't help this out. You little creep. Dave, I, I'm going to kill you. Coldness in my soul, burning in my heart. 